Blueberry pancakes, <laughs> syrup and crispy. Oh God, crispy creams. There's a cat. Yes, that's a good option. Peaches, crispy creams. Peaches, 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 peaches. I love you so. Oh, huh. Welcome back to another installment of the Hot or Not Show, where we like to get hot. And sometimes not. I'm Jason Gonnett. We got Guido Mad Australia, and we've got. My name is Jeff. Okay, always with the weird shit. Today we're going to be doing some Tannen Bombs, a little bit of their collection here, um, which we can roll that B-roll now. It's delicious. But we're going to be trying some blueberry sumac and cinnamon. We're also going to be trying their blueberry sumac and cinnamon. But with ghost. But with ghost. Yeah. They're primary, primarily habanero ghost. based. Yep, yeah, mostly. We got the apricot. Fenugreek. Fenugreek. I'm not lying to you. That's the actual word. What is it? Fenugreek. Seed and nutmeg. Yeah. We also got uh, strawberry, mint, and basil. Yeah, basil. Basil. <laughs> yeah, tomato, tomato. Avocado. We figured uh, we would do a little um, experiment with some bacon. We tried to candy it. We tried to candy it. I, I feel like this is kind of like a tree leaf that uh, died and is... Uh, it's like a palm tree leaf. Yeah. No, it's, it smells yeah, good. It we smells have, good. I was going to say, it yeah. smells like We good. used the regular... Yeah, we use the regular blueberry, sumac, and cinna, cinnamon, uh, cinnamon on this, and uh, we put a little brush on it. Brushed a little bit on both sides. and uh, yeah. Oh, God, that's candied on there. Probably do one width and then see if the how much it kicks up. Oh, oh. It's actually not as crispy as I thought it was. Oh, wow. Be. That's actually <laughs> pretty uh, phenomenal. Even the more burnt parts aren't, like, burnt as... Now that that could be partially due to the way that uh, Jeff uh, rigged up the cookie sheet with the wire rack and everything too. Skewered it and put it on uh, a wire rack, and then put that um, the wire rack over onto a, a cookie, cookie sheet, sheet yeah. to catch all the the drippings, and then put that on the grill. It, it's not like you're making a mess in the kitchen. Just on your fingers. Here's the cleanup method. I got the chance to try this at Saucy Fest 2023. Blueberry, oh. sumac, and cinnamon. Cinnamon. Bit thicker. Here's a plate of nothing. Bit thicker. Jeff's taking an old dip of dipping I, method. I know. You I know, have to. You and I did a... You know what, guys? It's, sti it's sticking to the, the other one really yeah. nice, man. I, yeah. I'm super pumped about this. All right, cheers. Wow, that blueberry is just like... Yeah. yeah. I can understand why it would be really good on pancakes. Oh Man, it does. It's just got a, it's got a little bit of more kick, but I think the blueberry stands out a little more, I guess, because you get a little more uh, heat on the back end. This is way more up my alley. Um, not saying the first one was bad Dude, at all. Dude, I hate this yeah. pepper. My but this is awesome. Yeah. That's that extra boost of kick. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm That it needed. Yeah. If you want to do it on pancakes, oh, wow. cool. But like doing Woo! doing that on bacon, just oh. a little just on the bacon. Yeah, I, I got sniffles. I got I got some <sighs> violence on my shirt. And that's Man. okay because I choose it. But, I can uh, put this in Lord. a mix. I can put some of this in a mix drink. What would you do? Oh man, breakfast shots. But you could actually add a little razzle dazzle into a breakfast shot. Everybody's different. Even if you just stuck that like to where the bacon was like up here, into a Bloody Mary to where the glass was oh, only my that God, tall, yeah. and you just had that that as an accent to go with it, little little something to get you going in the morning. But it was really awesome putting that uh, lemonade. Yeah. yeah, lemonade. Yeah, just put it in there. Okay. Woo! Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to. It's it's, quite, it's your cup. 
Mm. A 10 out of 10 flavor. <sighs> yeah. I'd yep. probably say like a, a 6 out of 10. F- Heat six, on the ghost. And yeah, then, it's probably uh, like a 6 out of 10. Like and a then four like a 4 out of 10. Yeah. I'd go 4 yeah, out of 10, 6 out of 10. And that's not saying that it's the, the being a 6 out of 10 on heat is a bad thing. Mm. I think it, it complements, the flavors really complement well. Yeah. I have some tears after I put some of that in my drink. Tannin bombs. 10 out of 10. We're moving on to apricot, fenugreek, fenugreek seed, seed, and, and nutmeg. nutmeg in unison. And we're going to try it on uh, some coconut shrimp. Because why not? In a world where things just seem to be going wrong, today we're hoping they'll be going in the right direction. I mean, I like to, I like to get a nice uh, hefty, hefty pour. Well, we're going to try... Uh... Did you say apricot? Oh, look at that. Here on the Hot or Not Show. We're going to try this Tannenbaum sauce. Oh, yeah. Which I'm they're, all, for they're all really good, so we just like to play here. Yeah, Cheers. We like to party. Hmm. Wait a minute. I'm going to just double up. Double corn. This is what you... Oh, there it is. Light heat. But this is where you toss your coconut shrimp into. <laughs> it's got like the consistency of honey. It does. That is a happy flavor. Mm. Knocks it out of the water, dude. That's mm. that's that's a stimulating taste. That's This is uh, with uh, grilled shrimp, which I can see that. Getting a nice yep. glaze on a, a, yeah. some grilled shrimp. Bacon wrapped shrimp would have been good okay. with this. Man, pulled pork on that. But like that shrimp, no, that shrimp was a absolute there, banger on uh, drizzle over roasted vegetables as a glaze for chicken or uh, even carrots, pot roast. I'm actually looking forward to this ice cream we're gonna try next. Who's subbing in? I'm calling Joe right now. Okay. Um, so we're over here uh, shooting in the middle of a hot or not session. Do you think that maybe you can come in and do an ice cream bit with the hot or not boys? Excuse well, me, Jason was being rude. Boy. Um, how long? That's not a trumpet. No, it's not trumpet. Joe, it's not trumpet. Maybe. All right, so Actually, get over no. here as I'm... soon as you can. Usually yes, but right now I'm not. Okay, fantastic. So, so we're going to try... Um, Strawberry mint. The third. The third flavor, strawberry mint and basil. That was perfect. Uh, this is for desserts, sauce for chicken, ribs, wings, chocolate, dessertes. You could use it for syrup on your pun cups. Drizzling down like a caramel or a... It is, yeah. Look at that. Is. Caramel or caramel? There's, there's a difference. There is a difference. Uh, well, it's, it depends Honestly. how I'm feeling. Loaded and f- flavorful blend of choiceful selected fruit and spices! Fruits and spices! All right, let's just jump into this. Uh, it's in this adorable uh, little pepper, pepper dish. Ball. Those little baby spoons <laughs> make me feel I could have probably eaten this in uh, three bites, but the oh, little baby. I think I need more to understand. I can definitely get the. I can definitely get the mint. Might have to do a spoon. My milkshake brings Bring us the tannin bottles to the yard. Hmm. I don't know why I'm getting like a very like peanut butter and jelly kind of vibe out of it. It's the straw. The strawberry is giving out the jam. Yeah. I don't know what's giving the peanut butter. I don't know. I think the ice cream is like the flavors being muted by the ice cream. Mm -hmm. It's it's a really good sauce, I think. But the ice cream is like kind of outweighing the flavor. Hmm. That's why I said I'm getting a very peanut butter jelly kind of vibe. But something's making it. uh, like kind of like a tart Mm -hmm. not a whole lot of heat but I'm sure that's being dampened by the ice cream Mm -hmm. Mm. so it's only sugar apple cider vinegar strawberries habanero mint basil and black pepper the vinegar is what I'm tasting that's standing out in the ice cream vinegar and peanut butter taste nothing Mm -hmm. like I mean that's a quarter a quarter of the bottle it's the vinegar Guido, oh, you're fine. Probably enough. Yeah, the habanero is not. I, honestly, it's kind. Of, it's kind of like a, a two out of ten heat. For I just me. didn't want to overflow the spoon. We're good. Flavor, I'll tell you after I, I do. It does this come spoon. out quick because there's no like yeah. 
There's no limiter or anything. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm still getting that, the, the vinegars really yeah. up front. Yeah. And that's what I was saying. I think the blueberry would have been better on the ice cream. But this was still a unique flavor because of the mint. I mean, I'd try it again. That would make an amazing, like, salad dressing. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, the but, vinegar. But that, for sure, is like almost like a strawberry vinaigrette. Yeah. Little, little. Oh. I still well, I think on the back end. Yeah, this it does still bit. have a the habanero heat, but not. I, I feel like it's one of the, it's, it's lighter than the uh, other ones. A light, it's light on the habanero heat. Yeah. For me personally, like a seven out of ten flavor. I'd, I'd give like a two, maybe a, th- I'd, a, a two out of ten heat. Maybe the, three. The heat's low. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's low. low. It's definitely the flavor, entry. Flavor for me is probably six, seven. Yeah, I mean I've had it's, it's good. We so, try. Yeah, we agree on the flavor. The, the, mm-hmm. the heat, uh, I would say maybe about a three at, at the most. All of Tannenbaum's sauces are just great, amazing people. The, the fruit comes through so, Always. so uh, pronounced, and then the heat is, is more of like just a compliment to the fruit. This one a little more uh, vinegar-based. Uh, honestly, there, I don't think there's a way you could go wrong with uh, any of their sauces, I think the blueberry with the ghost is is top. Uh, the little extra kick really pushes it to the next level. Yeah, that was my favorite. I mean, it by was far. so good. And yeah. I definitely tried on the bacon. The bacon was where it was at. Well, thank you for watching. It's been the Hot or Not Show. Tannin Bombs, definitely pick yourself up some. Uh, you can check them out at tannenbombsfoods.com. The link will be in the description. I mean, subscribe. And uh, th- thanks for watching. Yeah. Until thank next you. time. Sweet and majestic, just like the unicorn. (laughs) (laughs) Have you ever wondered what angels taste like? It's (laughs) tannenbobs. If you've got the munchies, tannenbobs. Hi, I'm Jason Garnett. My diaper's full. Buy some. Is that what is wrong with you guys? These are like Cut. cracks delicious. There you go, perfect. Yes, I felt like that one was natural. <laughs> <laughs> Strawberry mint, take a hit. Take a hit. I don't like that. What's good? Fuck you. Eat this <laughs> now. <laughs> right, I mean, it's, I, it's very it's good. Just good. Please subscribe. Prescribe yourself some medication because you will need it. <laughs> Remember, kick them while they're down. <laughs> hey! Yeah! Kick them while they're down. <laughs> Just kick them! Just kick them! <laughs> Just kick them! <laughs>